places that are difficult to get to, hide the great secrets of forgotten civilizations. Antarctica researchers are battling harsh working conditions in a cold climate and are literally wresting finds from the hands of the past, giving us reason to doubt what is written in the textbooks of the history of the ancient world. What has been hiding behind the snows of the icy continent all this time? You are on the Kurt Top channel. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Monster Remains Researchers battling brutal Antarctic conditions for decades have discovered the fossilized remains of an Elasmosaurus. These were the real titans of the Cretaceous period who lived with dinosaurs. Scientists have discovered most of the skeleton of this giant, though there was no head, but even without it, they concluded. This beast weighed from 11.8 to 14.8 tons and was about 12 meters long. Can you imagine? For comparison, earlier they found Elasmosaurus weighing about 5 tons and the genus Aristonectes up to 11 tons. However, until the end, scientists are are not sure which genus our giant belongs to. Perhaps it is an unknown genus. And here's something else that's interesting. This marine giant lived about 30 years before the extinction of the dinosaurs, which supports the theory that Elasmosaurus lived in the late Cretaceous period. Lakes under the ice in total, more than 400 subglacial lakes have already been found in Antarctica, and each of them has been isolated from the rest of the world and the atmosphere for millions of years. And this means that life there can be completely unique and ancient. Scientists have already drilled two small lakes and discovered microbial life. But what happens in the big lakes remains a mystery. After all, there is no sunlight, so microbes cannot use photosynthesis. In order for life to be more diverse, the water in the lake must move so that nutrients and oxygen are evenly distributed. On the surface of the Earth, this is done by the wind and the sun. Under the ice, geothermal heat rising from the Earth's interior can serve as a source of heat and movement. This heat is able to create currents in subglacial lakes, stirring up the water and making it more hospitable to life. Icefish Colony A group of scientists broke through a thick layer of ice and lowered the camera half a kilometer down. They saw tens of thousands of round nests, each of the diameter of a bicycle wheel, and in each nest lives one adult fish, guarding more than 2,000 of their future children. Cameras filled more than 12,000 of these fish. The total spawning area is about 240 square kilometers. These fish are called ice fish because of their unique ability to endure extreme cold. Their blood contains special substances similar to antifreeze, which allows them to live in the harsh conditions of Antarctica. As you can see, despite the cold, life in Antarctica is in full swing. Pyramids A group of researchers have discovered in Antarctica none other than three pyramids and it seems that they were created not by nature, but by the hands of our distant ancestors. Antarctica is now the edge of the world covered in ice, but once it was an oasis full of life where even dinosaurs walked, and our finds there are proof of this. In total, eight researchers from America and Europe went on the expedition. They found two pyramids 16 kilometers from the coast and the third right by the water. The question arises, why don't we hear about it in the news? Many argue that this information is hidden so that we are not distracted from the usual idea of the past. What will we see when the glaciers melt? Could it be that under the ice, in addition to the pyramids, another sphinx is hiding? What do you think about it? Write your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Mummified Penguins Chinese researchers have discovered a graveyard of mummified penguins in Antarctica, and many of them were, were just chicks. At first, scientists thought that the penguins did not survive two periods of extreme rainfall, but penguins live in Antarctica and are used to cold and snow, so something doesn't quite fit here. Now, scientists are suggesting that climate change is to blame for these massive penguin deaths. In their opinion, the humidification of the climate caused by global warming could have led to this tragedy. The penguins, as it turned out, were not ready for such conditions and immediately died. This happened twice, about 750 and 200 years ago. Scientists figure this out using radiocarbon dating, and it seems that the penguins did not die immediately, but gradually. Ancient Egg 
This stone potato measures 20 by 30 centimeters and has been lying in the frozen earth for, wow, 68 million years. That is, its time is the time of the dinosaurs. This object was fraught with many mysteries and it was simply called this thing. But one day, a researcher suggested that it could be the egg of the ancient creature. It would seem nonsense, an egg without bones inside and such a gigantic size? It was a Mosasaurus egg, a terrible sea monster 17 meters long and weighing about 15 tons. Scientists came to this conclusion when they discovered the skeletons of small mosasaurs nearby. This egg was unusual. It was more like a giant plastic bag that the cubs could easily tear. Underwater, it was deformed and petrified, so the egg turned out so unusual. Huge Crater Researchers in Antarctica have discovered a huge crater, and most likely it was left by an asteroid. And who knows, maybe it was this cosmic collision that influenced the evolution of dinosaurs. Scientists believe that the effect of an asteroid in Antarctica was even cooler than the one that destroyed the dinosaurs. This may have led to the catastrophic destruction of the time. The disaster took many lives, but as it turned out, it not only took away but also gave. This crater, over 300 miles wide, was created by a huge asteroid about 250 million years ago. Scientists think that it was this fall of an asteroid that could become one of the reasons for the global extinction of species on Earth. But at the same time, this catastrophe could create the conditions for the appearance of dinosaurs. As a result of this horror, one of the winners was the Archosaurus, the progenitor of dinosaurs. UFO Sighting in 1965, at the Argentine naval base in Antarctica, in the middle of the night, almost 20 people looked up at the sky in surprise. At an altitude of 15 to 20 kilometers, they saw a UFO. This mysterious object was a glowing kaleidoscope of greens, reds, yellows, oranges, and whites. The huge ship, more than 85 meters long, seemed heavy and soared confidently in the sky. There were many witnesses to this event, since it all lasted a long time. Even earlier, in 1946, the American high jump expedition set off to the icy shores. There is a legend that flying saucers met them on the way, and they say that about 400 sailors and soldiers died in battles with them. The entire expedition ended after three months, and all materials became strictly secret. Richard Byrd, the head of the expedition, told about this and ended up in a psychiatric hospital. Mysterious Cave Scientists, through Google Maps in Antarctica, discovered a mysterious object. It's not just an object, it's a cave hidden under glaciers. Scientists have published a video on YouTube showing the vault of this cave. Some believe that the cave could have been man-made. This video, the video shows an ideal vault, 23 meters high and 76 meters wide. Scientists drew attention to the strange path and steps at the entrance to the cave, which gives reason to think about their artificial origin. Others think it's a secret UFO facility or a top-secret military base. There are those who think that these are the remains of the architecture of an ancient civilization. Official science is still silent, but everyone agrees, with global warming, Antarctica has many more secrets to discover. Elongated Skulls Archaeologists have made a stunning discovery in Antarctica the remains of people with long skulls. Even more interesting, similar elongated skulls have been found all over the world, in Peru, Egypt, Russia, the USA, and even in Europe. Scientists have found that people deliberately deformed the skulls of their children right from birth. But here's the mystery. It was done by different people who lived at great distances from each other, perhaps even without mutual contact. And the question why remains open. Maybe this is how people tried to get superpowers or emphasize their status or wanted to be like the gods. Maybe it was a trend, like tattoos or piercings today. It's creepy, but even today in some tribes of South America, this tradition still exists. Ruins of Ancient Civilizations Captain Robert Scott and his crew come face to face with an ancient civilization behind the ice wall of Antarctica. They found traces of antediluvian time and even filled them. 
Can you imagine what is it like to see the ruins of ancient city, pyramids, columns, and statues in the heart of Antarctica? This ancient civilization may even be older than the ones we learn about in school. Confirmation of this is a map of 1531, where Antarctica is shown without ice. Strange, because according to our history, Antarctica was discovered only in 1820 by Russian explorers. Did you know that the North and South Poles have reversed 171 times in the last 76 million years? And the last time it happened was about 12,000 years ago. This explains why all the secrets of Antarctica today are hidden under a kilometer layer of ice. According to recent reports, under Antarctica, there was a huge network of passages and tunnels at a depth of 4 kilometers. Gold Spewing Volcano Mount Erebus, the largest volcano in Antarctica, literally spits the finest crystals of metallic gold into the air. Gold from 0.1 to 20 micrometers is found in volcanic gases and up to 60 micrometers in the snow nearby. Interestingly, although other volcanoes are known for their gold emissions, Mount Erebus is the only one that ejects gold in metallic form. Before you decide to go gold prospecting in Antarctica, let me disappoint you. Mount Erebus only releases about 80 grams of gold per day. It's more of a geological curiosity than anything else. However, knowing how volcanoes can concentrate the metal could help geologists find gold deposits better. Martian Connection this mineral was first discovered by the Opportunity rover on Mars in 2004. The mineral Gerasite, which has been known on Earth since 1872, was considered ours, earthly. It requires water, iron, sulfate, potassium, and acidity to form. Everything found on Earth but rare on Mars. However, it turned out that there is much more Gerasite on Mars than here, so the question arose, how could it be formed there in such a large amount? The particles found on Earth were cracked and lacked sharp edges, suggesting they formed and broke apart inside the ice. And here comes the most interesting part. Scientists suggest that on Mars, gerocide is formed in the same way. Life under ice while collecting samples under the ice shelf, scientists discovered living organisms under a layer of ice over 900 meters. When the scientists lowered the camera down in into the icy abyss, they found nothing but one stone. But to their surprise, living creatures were found on this stone. Different types of sea sponges and strange filamentous organisms, which they assumed were hydroids, a type of intervertebrates. Just imagine this, life under hundreds of meters of ice in conditions that we assumed were completely incompatible with life. But here they are, these little creatures, questioning everything we know about life on Earth. We can only guess how long these organisms have been here and how often they feed. Once a year? Once a decade? Or maybe once a century? This ecosystem can be incredibly ancient. Antarctic sponges, for example, can live for thousands of years. Expedition of Admiral Byrd it all started with books written by Amadeo Giannini and Raymond Bernard discussing the unusual theory that the Earth is actually hollow. They claimed that Bird, during his expeditions, did not just fly through the poles, but fell into giant cavities inside the planet. Ufologist Ray Palmer further fueled interest in this theory by presenting it in his UFO magazine. He caused a real storm of discussion. Janini, Bernard, and Palmer claimed that Bird claimed to have penetrated 3,700 kilometers into the Earth through the South Pole, and before his death, he even hinted at the existence of a magical continent in the sky, the edge of eternal mystery beyond the poles. Land of rains and rainbows, home of a mythical lost civilization. These references confirm their version. The Earth is shaped like a donut, with huge depressions at the poles inside of which there are uncharted lands and perhaps even secret UFO bases. Global warming is just beginning to reveal the mysteries of the icy continent. With the melting of glaciers, more and more mystical finds will be discovered. It seemed that history could not be rewritten, but what would happen if the search movement began in full force? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Watch this video too about the finds frightening scientists around the world. See you on Kurtop.